hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel hope you're having a great day wherever you are it's your girl boo boo so today's video is all about going to we are going to be talking about fat as an f18 it's a very very personal it's a very very personal topic to me because i've always been fat when i was growing up and still i'm still fat so when i was growing as a child People always call me that fat girl. People always be like, hey, you are fat. Come on, I know I'm fat, but you don't have to say it to my face. Especially when I was still small, people will be like, uh uh. Now you they finish your food when you're not cook. All those kind of stuff that is really, it's really, it's very, very hurtful for a child and also for an adult. Come on, you know that you're fat, but it's not really pointed to our face. So there are some myths and facts about fat people that people don't really know people just think it's how it's supposed to be so the number one myth that i wrote down here is obesity is only caused by eating <laughs> obesity or fatness is not really caused about eating a lot of food i know a lot of people that don't really eat that eat healthy but they are, they are still fat and obesity Okay, I'm going to read from what I have in my book. The causes of obesity is very complex. We have a lot of environmental factors, psychological factors, and all even genetic factors. Like, it's very simple. The genetic factor is like when you give birth to, you are fair and you give birth to a fair guy or a fair a fair lady. That's genetic factor for you. So when you are fat, you give birth to a fat girl or a fat boy. That's how the genetics. So another myth that people believe that overweight people are unhealthy. That's a very wrong myth, and that's a very wrong statement to say that overweight people are unhealthy. Okay, let me take myself for an example now. I'm the last person <laughs> ask my friends. I'm the last person that will go to the school canteen to buy chunks. I don't eat chunks. I eat. I eat healthy. I exercise healthy. And I do all sorts of things that normal person do. Yet I'm still fat. That's why my friends will be like, ah, uh ah, -uh, you don't eat junk. You don't even go to the canteen to buy food, sir. And they are still fat. What happened? They will not understand that it's not about eating too much. It's there are a whole lot of factors that contribute to obesity. And it's very wrong to equate obesity with unhealthy and equate skinny person or a slim girl with healthy they are two different things if you shake a lot of slim girls or skinny girls it's because they are you can eat the same thing with me and our body will respond differently is it too different? people believe that when they tease fat people or obese people that it encourages them to lose weight come on who does search if you treat if you if you treat someone bad you encourage the person how does it sound to your hearing okay let me read what i have here people believe that when every when whenever you see an overweight person you should tease them because it encourages them to lose weight okay let me tell you my experience with when people tease me when i was small because now i'm already used to it i've outgrown it i'll be like oh i'm fat okay no problem i'll keep going where i'm going to whenever i'm being teased when i was small I won't like to come close to you. I won't like to associate with you because you always tease me. I'll be afraid of you. That's my way. And mind you, people who are teased about their body weight and victimized about their body weight have the tendency to be depressed. They will eat more. They will. They will be. They will be isolated. They will don't like. They don't. They will don't want to associate with other people. Because I remember when I was in secondary school, just not to be precise, in my first secondary school, because I attended two different secondary schools because we were located, that's why I attended two, two different secondary schools. So the first time I went to, um, during the inter-house sports day, people that want to match, they selected people that want to match, and I was like, teacher, please, I want to be among the people that will match. So the teacher was like, she finished looking at me up to down. She was like, uh uh, that uh, don't you know I'm overweight? That I cannot be fit for March past now. That I will I will spread the line for them. So I just, it affected me 
psychologically i don't that's why i don't really like in her sports day in all my in all this thing that's why i don't really associate myself with in her sports day it was like the worst activity for me in the school whenever we had in her sports day i was just like stay on my own i don't like to associate with them so my second secondary school my second secondary school okay for my second secondary school where i met this very kind teacher mrs ogonna I can't really remember her surname, but she always noticed she's she was our English teacher then. She always noticed that whenever it comes to intersport, I don't really associate with them because I really feel like oh I can't do this, oh I can't do that. I really I am just on my own. She was like, okay, that I should join the greenhouse and play basketball. I was like, me, basketball. I've never even finished my passes, basketball. She said, Yes, I, I can I can play basketball if I want to. I was like, okay, let me try. And I tried, it was like, mm, it was fun for me and I really, I really liked it, I really enjoyed it. Although I wasn't perfect, but it was fun, it was really healthy for me then. So, it's not about teasing people because people have been affected psychologically. Many people have been depressed. Many people, many fat people have been affected. And, and I just wish that 75% of people can be like anti that's really helped my self-esteem that really helped me be who i am today because if not because of that i won't really like in the house but i won't really associate with my friends during the in the house i'll just be on my own highest i'm not coming to school that day because it's it's not funny it's not funny many people have been victimized of their body weight which is strong i believe i'm speaking for every fat person out there and i believe that this will get to you and I believe that this will also gets to the people that are teasing fat people. It's it's unhealthy for you to 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 tease a fat person, victimize them because of their body weight, because of their they, they have bigger body, they have larger body than you. It's a, it's, it's very wrong to tease a fat person. It's not good. It's so unhealthy. It's a unique thing about human beings. It's a unique thing about people. The people are meant to be different. That is how God created us. We are meant to be different. We cannot be the same. No, I cannot be the same. I should just imagine me now. I come being slim. <laughs> oh no, God. I just imagine. I can't even imagine myself being slim. Oh no. I've already I've already accepted my body. I am used to my body and I'm loving myself for it. So I hope that I'm speaking for everybody out there. I hope that this video gets across everybody out there. Those people that are being victimized, those that are teasing us, those that are victimizing us, that this video will get out there and send a message out there. So if you like what you just watched, why don't you just like my video, subscribe to my channel, and see you next time. Bye for now. Thank you.